Today we've got one of the most requested videos of, well, maybe all time. This is the GoPole Reach. And this is a kind of, you can think of it as, I think the original GoPro pole. GoPole was one of the first companies to make uh, poles for your GoPro camera. And this is kind of their traditional, normal, if you jack of all trades, GoPro pole. So this is the Reach and it's a really cool pole because unlike most poles which are out there, which are three segments, this one is four. And that allows it to collapse from the minuscule size of 14 inches all the way up to 40. So you can see that once it's fully extended, those four segments extend and then it's super easy to lock and unlock. So locking it is as simple as grabbing the end of the camera and twisting and now it's locked in and unlocking is just that motion backwards. In terms of usability and the quickness of setup and takedown, really I haven't used many other poles. Actually, I haven't used any other poles which set up, take down, extend, and then retract as quickly or as easily as this one does. So overall, I was really impressed with the setup and the takedown time of it as well as the feel of it. Now it is a lot heavier feel and it doesn't have the same kind of premium feel that something like that POV gear carbon pole has where it's just a really light and yet premium feel. This is definitely more of a heavy duty feeling pole. The grip does have some weight and it is a, a metal construction here. So it does have a little bit of heft to it and that brings it a really sturdy feel. So when it's extended and locked in, it is very sturdy feeling and it's a pretty solid pull. So we'll get on to some of the drawbacks. Um, the locking mechanism, well, very quick to set up and very easy to set up and lock in place has been a little bit frustrating to me at times when I've been taking it down. So because it works on the whole pole locking and not just each segment locking individually, there are times, kind of like right now, where one of the segments will get jammed and locked and there's no way to twist a segment that's inside separately from the outside segment because it completely disappears into the segment before it. And this can lead to some problems on takedown if you've got one segment that's jammed really tight and then it can sometimes be a little bit hard to get that last one in, kind of like the situation I've created here. So that was a little bit annoying and it can be a little bit frustrating, but most of the time you can figure it out and it works out. The pole also has some other unique features included with it. The first of these is the high torque thumb screws, which are included to do up the camera here on the front. Now, if you haven't seen my review on the gold pole, the high torque thumb screws, you should check it out down below. They're absolutely awesome. And they're just a very simple redesign of the standard GoPro bolt, which allow you a lot more torque while doing them up and allow you to very easily tighten and loosen your GoPro without um, having problems of your hand slipping if you're wearing gloves or anything like that. Then down to the bottom here, it's got a quarter by 20 inch thread. Now that's useful for mounting onto tripods. And we'll talk more about that once we take it outside. But then it also includes this little lanyard for it, which you can use as a wrist strap. And it screws in here just like this. Now you can put this on your wrist so that if you're out near the water or somewhere where you're dropping it could be could cause a loss of your camera. You've got a really good way there to make sure that even if you do let go of the camera, it still stays attached to your body. And then the final accessory, which it comes with is the GoPro remote clip. So this is a little clip for your GoPro remote, which snaps onto the handle just like this. And then we grab our GoPro remote. It works with either the old school GoPro Hero 3 Plus, Hero 3, Hero 2 remotes, or the new smart remotes. You clip in the side here and then just push down and just like that, the GoPro remote is mounted onto your pole. It's got a little piece of rubber on the back of it to stop it from sliding around on the pole. And then you can use it with your thumb like this so that you can um, take pictures and control the cameras. To conclude our review of the GoPro Reach, I've actually brought it outside here where we can kind of see how wide the angle you can actually get and how much of yourself you're actually able to capture while using this pole fully extended. So it does extend to that max extension of 40 inches and we can extend that right now and then lock it in. We'll tilt the camera up and we can see that with it fully extended, it gets a massive amount of you in the shot. So you can see I've got almost all of me in the shot. This is shooting 2.7K at wide, so 
no fancy super view, no four by three angle. This is just the standard 16 by nine image coming straight out of the camera. So a very wide shot. And then also, of course, this gives you a little bit of room to reframe because you are shooting that higher resolution. But it doesn't really end there because it's another really cool feature with these mounts when you combine them with the uh, base. And this is another thing that GoPol sells and it's this little tripod hand grip tripod thing. And it, so it's a three legged grip and you can, if you want to see a full review, check out my channel. There's a full review of it on there, but it is this really cool thing where if you fold the legs the other way, you get a tripod base with a quarter by 20 inch screw on it. And as we talked about before, the gold pole poles have this quarter by 20 inch threaded base. So we can just thread this onto here. What we essentially get is a tripod for our GoPro and it's already mounted on here. So we can go ahead and extend it to its max height. And you can see we've got tripod legs, a pole, and then a camera mount at the end. And we basically have this tripod, which is great for stationary shots. Now, because of the size of the feet, of course, it's not a very stable tripod, but if you wanna just get stable shots and you just wanna be able to take, time lapses might not be that great, but if you wanna be able to take um, stationary shots of you, if you're talking to the camera or something like that, this can be great. So we'll just go ahead and we'll put this over here. Just make sure it's balanced. Now, like I said before, it's not the most stable thing in the world, but it is a pretty good tripod. As long as it's not too windy or whatever you're putting on is not moving around, it is a very stable tripod shot. And for the size of that base, it really doesn't add any bulk to your camera kit. It's, it works as a grip. So very cool how you can just combine these two things and end up with this other very versatile piece of gear, like a full-size tripod, but without having to carry around that full-size tripod. Guys, thanks for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you check out my channel, subscribe, and like the video. This was my review of the GoPro Reach. If you want to check it out, you can find links to it down in the video description. And while you're down there, guys, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.